All right, people, so a few weeks ago, we put out a tutorial that I really wasn't sure was gonna do well on vocoding inside of Mainstage. I thought, surely, the modern worship crowd isn't that interested in vocoding. Well, uh, apparently you guys are super into it and I was totally wrong because it's been one of our most popular main stage tutorials that we've put out in quite a while. So today I wanted to follow up on that tutorial with another tutorial on how to add even more functionality to vocode and auto-tune your vocal within main stage. So if you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and pause this one click the link in the description to watch part one of the vocoding tutorial and then jump right back here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to add more vocal clarity and prominence to the vocoding effect. So let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna start right where we left off in our first vocoding tutorial. So like I said, if you haven't watched that one yet, the link is in the description. But we've already got a basic vocoding patch set up using Evoc 20, which is the vocoding plugin in Mainstage. So just a reminder, it sounds like this. So the main thing that we're concerned with that, or that I think we can do to improve the quality of this effect in Mainstage is a big lack of vocal clarity. So it's a pretty muddy sort of gritty vocoding effect. It's really cool and uh, with a little bit of processing, some EQ and some reverb, it's a really, really cool sound, but you don't really get clarity for what you're actually saying. So we're gonna add an audio channel strip in this tutorial, and we're gonna actually add an auto-tuned vocal that's gonna be blended in with the vocoded signal. So I've already got an audio channel strip set up with the same input as the vocoding channel strip. So that's input one. So this microphone is gonna be fed through this audio channel strip. So the first thing I've done is add an instance of channel EQ to this audio channel strip because we're mostly worried about vocal clarity. We don't need any low end. We're just trying to add consonants and clarity to the upper mids and the high end. So I've used channel EQ to just roll off most of the low frequencies from this signal. Now the vocoding channel strip is still gonna have that nice beefy low mid and low range vocoding sound. So we're gonna get all the beefiness from there. We just need clarity from this audio channel strip. So that's what channel EQ is doing. So right now, I'm just gonna solo this channel strip and it sounds like this. So if I sing, it's just a regular audio channel strip. So it's just my voice, right? With no processing at all. So now that we have channel EQ rolling off all the low end from this channel strip, we wanna add some processing so it's not just my dry audio vocal signal. So to do that, we're gonna add some hard pitch correction by going down here to pitch and choosing the pitch correction plugin. Now by default, the pitch correction plugin in Mainstage is chromatic. So it's just gonna shift your voice automatically to the next nearest note in uh, on the keyboard, but we want to lock it into the specific key that I'm gonna be playing in. This gives us a harder effect and makes it pretty much impossible to sing wrong notes. This is what gives you that sort of dramatic auto-tuned effect that is really what we're going for to blend in with the vocoder. So to do this, we're gonna click on scale and choose major scale, and then designate whatever key you plan to use this effect in. So we're gonna stick here in the key of C. Now in the factory default setting, uh, you wanna pay attention to this response slider here. It's probably gonna be set for somewhere between 100 and 200 milliseconds. This means that for the first little bit of your attack, you're actually gonna hear the original pitch and then it's going to correct it over that period of time. Now, if you want a less pronounced auto-tune effect with the ability to scoop into or down to a note, then you might like that. But we're looking for something that's aggressive, that's harsh, that's in your face to complement this really aggressive vocoder. So we're gonna bring the response all the way down to zero. Now we're gonna add an instance of silver verb, and this is to add a little bit of ambience and space. Now I'll be honest, we're asking Mainstage to do stuff that it wasn't really designed to do. The, the effects that we're working in, both the vocoder and the pitch correction plugin make more sense for studio context in Logic Pro. But it's really cool that we can hack them together and make something work for a live performance. Uh, but the fact is with this pitch correction plugin, there's a little bit of latency as uh, Mainstage processes what you're doing and then outputs the pitch corrected audio. So to kind of cover all that up and smooth it together so that it's a, a seamless blend, 
we're gonna bring in an instance of the silver verb reverb. And I'll leave this on screen here so you can copy the settings if you'd like. Uh, I've got the reflectivity down to just about 20%. So it's a big reverb sound, but it doesn't bounce around for very long. So this gives you sort of a hall reverb effect. And then lastly, I've got an instance of stereo delay. And I'll leave these settings on screen for a second as well. This just widens everything up, gives it a little bit more of a processed sound. It's really wide in the stereo field. And again, it's just sort of pushing everything together so it's a nice cohesive sound. All right, so now that we've got all these effects on the signal, let me show you what it sounds like. Here is just this pitch corrected vocal. Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. We need your presence. So there's really hard, jarring pitch correction to the nearest key on all of those notes, no matter how close or far I am, it's being jumped right to that note. So on its own, it's pretty stark. You can tell that it's happening. It might not be what you want, but the idea is to blend it in with our vocoded effect from the previous tutorial. So now here's both of these layers together. Spirit. So it's a really cool effect and we get all that vocal clarity back by having the auto-tune vocal in the mix. So really quickly, I'm gonna mute it so you can hear just the vocoded signal and then I'll bring it back in so you can hear the difference that that auto-tuned channel strip makes. And then with it on, you're the reason we came to encounter your love here as in heaven. And the last thing I want to show you, I've got a few layers from Sunday Keys here as well. So I'm going to bring in a pad, a nice synth bell sound, and a bit of piano. So you can actually do this live. You can play your keys parts and have this vocoding effect going all at once. All right, you crazy kids, you asked for more info on vocoding in main stage and you got it. Now leave a comment and let me know if this is something you've already done live at church. I'm still trying to convince my worship leader to let me give it a go during a church service. So maybe if there's thousands and thousands of it went perfectly comments, he will let me give it a try. If you have any more questions about how this works, maybe we can even figure out how to do another tutorial in this series, because I guess apparently now it's a series because you're super into vocoding in your church services. 
Anyways, if this video was helpful, be sure to comment, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And lastly, I'd love to invite you to join our Facebook group called Sunday Sounds Insiders. There's over 5,000 worship musicians over in that group, all playing worship keys, guitar, drums, and bass live at church. So we'd love to see you over there. There's a link in the description so you can request to join. Thanks for watching and have a great day.